Hey guys, so we are back again with another reading. I am so excited to give this one to you guys. I just felt really called to do it. Um, and it is what kind of blessings are coming to you after this hard time. So we're talking specifically about like the hardship and troubles you've been through and then the rewards or the purpose of why you had to go through that. Um, and so it's gonna be a deep reading. I'm excited to go there and hopefully get some good news that is going to be accurate and also encouraging to you guys. So with that being said, we're gonna start with number one, number two, number three, and number four, we're back to food readings. I got a whole bunch of food, fake food shipments in. <laughs> I'm sure the people like at Amazon think I'm crazy that I keep ordering all this fake food. But you know, here we are, we have the cookies. So maybe you already see your favorite one or one is calling to you. Um, and definitely go with that if you already feel called to it. I will say if you, you know, I find sometimes spirit will give us clues of like your favorite, um, color or something that you would automatically be drawn to but also it's good to go in and try to clear your energy and just tune into the energy so don't necessarily go with that's automatically my fave so I'm gonna pick it but whatever way you use to pick is totally fine just make sure you feel like you're drawn to it and then in the reading you can always check in if it's not resonating maybe it's not the one for you and if it is resonating you know you picked the right pile so with that being said i'm going to be quiet now and let you guys tune into the energy Okay, so hopefully you had time to decide. If you need a little more time, it's totally cool to rewind, pause, and spend a few more seconds deciding. But let's go ahead and jump into pile one. Hey, pile one. So if you guys picked this beautiful kind of swirl cookie, this is your reading. It looks kind of like shortcake, which I love shortcake. I'm gluten free, so I can't really eat it anymore, but those were my jam back in the day, so it's definitely a great choice. But I actually pre-pulled your card, so let's get right into them. Um, and I kind of have an idea of what this reading is about. So let's begin. We got the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, and the Ten of Cups. Um, I guess I'll just put out a lot of the cards now since I had pre-pulled them. Um, we also got Magic Prayer. Dry Desert, Rock Bottom, Storm Fields, and finally, um, we got Journey, Woman Holding a Heart, Contract, and Happy Family. So from what I'm getting from this, I feel like you guys have really genuinely been going through a hard time. I wasn't sure, you know, when I decided to get this idea for the reading, I wasn't sure how many people would really be kind of going through it. And then sometimes those difficulties that we all have in life, you know, there's there's like a difference between like, oh, it's been really hard. I, you know haven't had the best time finding a friend group and you know I had trouble in my math class level hard like that's hard and not to make light of that but and there's a difference between that and like you know a family member passed away or I got a divorce or I went bankrupt or I was homeless you know what I mean and I feel like you guys really have a lot of you have been going through it like this is this is a lot that you've been dealing with so I can see if you've never watched my readings before I wouldn't be surprised if some of you found it this way because I can see why you would look up this as a reading idea because it, it's you've been going through a lot you know and I feel like I'm also seeing here like a lack of money a lack of finances I feel like what I'm hearing from spirit is kind of like you don't understand why it hasn't worked out like you feel like you've been trying you've been on the right path you've been trying to manifest and doing the right things but it just seems like at every step along the way you're just kind of like blocked 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 you know what I mean and I feel like it feels kind of like you're like the punching bag of the universe right now like it just it's been kind of like hit after hit. Like I said, everyone goes through hard times in life. Everyone has difficulties, but there's a difference between like a difficulty when you're in like a mansion and you know, 
you had a very lighthearted breakup and you're sad about it versus a different, you know, a difficulty when you're homeless and, you know, you also get robbed and it's, it's some horribly awful situation. And so I feel like you guys have really gone through a lot with that and it's just been very financially difficult for you. And, um, like what spirit is, there also might be like legal issues here. So you guys might have run into like legal trouble or had some kind of, um, issue with finances that led you into like legal stuff or just like really bad credit or something where it's like hard for you to, you know, get an apartment or to, um, sign off on, you know, certain financial stuff because it's like you, your credit isn't look in the way I guess it should look, you know, kind of a thing. So there's this like legal aspect here for a lot of you. And there's also just general, I feel like you guys have been going through a whole lot. So what spirit is saying is basically that your prayers will be answered. First of all, praying is important for you guys. If you can pray like that is like part of the part of part of your journey to reaching abundance sooner. Like I feel like what I'm hearing from your spirit guides is that they want to talk to you and they want you to reach out to them. They want you to engage with them and sometimes you don't. I feel like sometimes you're going through so much that it's like you feel like you're alone. Like you feel like you are all by yourself. I'm seeing with this card, which means hardships. So again, spirits just like telling me I got all these cards from rock bottom to storm clouds to dry desert that are like the symbol for hardship. So they're just like confirming you've been through so much. But for me, what comes to mind with you guys when I think of this card is that parable that of like, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's a Bible verse, but it's something Christians kind of say as a, um, like a quote that a lot of Christians use, which is like, um, someone was walking in the sand on a beach or something, or maybe in the desert and they turned back around and they only saw their footprints. And they said to Jesus, like, why didn't you help me? Why weren't you there for me? Why didn't you help me out? And Jesus says, I was there for you. I was carrying you, you know? And I feel like that's the case for you guys. You guys really think you're alone in this and what your spirit guides want me to tell you is you're not, they are with you. All this stuff is going to be for your benefit. Um, all this stuff is to make you better aligned with your path and you're going to realize why you went through it at the end. Um, like a lot of times when we're going through these things, it's hard for us to recognize why is it happening? You know, it seems so pointless that we have to go through this difficult stuff. Like why can't I just have this beautiful like life already in a mansion with like, you know, um, a soulmate and a beautiful situation. And why do I have to go through this? And meanwhile, there's people living, you know, these amazing lives. But the point is, is that whatever for your journey, whatever you're going through is something you're going to be using later on. You're going to be using this stuff later in some context. I'm seeing the example of like a musician or an artist, a musical artist who struggles like at first, like to find, you know, even enough money to eat food and it, it's like heartbreak after heartbreak and it's so difficult and it's so hard for them and they're almost like on the verge of giving up and then they blow up, you know, they have like a hit single or something. And for the rest of their life, that music, that, you know, that hardship, it, informs their music and they're able to sing to people around the world about pain, about difficulty and give them encouraging stuff because they went through that period of not having anything and not succeeding and still trying. And you know, it's like banging your head against the wall. So they know what that feels like and they're able to have a million times more success and even beyond financial success, it's like, you know, it's kind of like manna in heaven is the phrase I think, but it's like you create such powerful karma when we help other people go through their hard times. 
um, that is such a beautiful thing and a beautiful act. And I feel like you guys, if you can come out of this, it's going to be an inspiration to others and you are going to be able to, in some capacity, inspire other people and like be a positive influence on others. So this is why you need to go through this. I'm also getting what's coming to mind to me is like the example of some of these Disney stars who had instant success. You know, some of them are totally underage, you know, they're like 12 years old when they become, you know, in the Disney kind of system and then they get kind of promoted within that pretty quickly and rise up through the ranks and, you know, by the time they're like 14, 15, 16, they're like super famous, super wealthy and so many of them end up having issues um, with mental health or with just general life issues, very serious ones. And I'm not trying to shade those people or make fun of them or call them out at all um, because I think we all go through, you know, different levels of pain and um, you can be, you know, very upset and miserable in a mansion and very happy in a little hut, you know. But the point is, is that when you, sometimes when you skip those hardships and the difficult times, you miss out on a lot of the growth, you know what I mean? And what they're telling me is if you guys reached success immediately, you, uh, they're almost telling me what I'm hearing is you would have blown it. You would have somehow destructed. You might look back, I feel like you guys have been going through this for a while, um, is the sense I'm getting. And I feel like if you guys were to reflect on what you were like at the beginning of this journey, kind of like a dark night of the soul period that you've been going through, however long it started to go, I feel like you guys would say that you have grown a lot since then and you are a lot more mature than you were when it started. I feel like if you, if you look back at who you were at the very beginning of when this path began, you guys were a lot more immature and a lot less aware of everything in life. Like I'm hearing less woke, you know, and I don't mean like political woke or anything like that. I mean, you were a lot less awake um, to like, like metaphysical, spiritual reality kind of things. So you needed to go through this because if you had had this success early on, I don't think you would have appreciated it the way um, the way you will when it comes. I feel like when it comes, you're gonna have the maturity to handle it, to hold it correctly. So let me talk about some of those blessings. Speaking of holding it, we got woman holding a heart. And what I'm getting for you guys is what's coming in is a happy family, which is literally, I, I forgot that that was the title of this and I was just like talking, but you literally got the happy family card. And we also got the 10 of um, cups, which is essentially the happy family card. So it's like you guys have so much beautiful energy coming in um, family-wise. I, I see a really happy um like family life. And I feel like for some of you, maybe that's not how you grew up. Like maybe you grew up in dysfunction or in situations where there was just unhealthy patterns. Like I feel like you guys didn't have the like white perfect picket fence kind of a thing with like two wonderful parents who would dress you up in like the perfect outfits and you'd come home to like a beautifully made meal or if that was the case there was always still drama and fighting or whatever you know and it was just an appearance thing. But you guys didn't have that real actual happy family thing. There was secrets and dysfunction that generational is what I'm hearing like generational issues of dysfunction with your family and I feel like that is actually why you guys have faced issues in your life a lot of the trouble and turmoil you guys have experienced stems from that um, because it set you up with unhealthy patterns I feel like for some of you there is like actual trauma that you experienced that you might not even be aware of. Like, I think I was just reading something about how, you know, people who are the kids of narcissists and stuff, they have issues almost lifelong with like sleep. Um, and they always will have issues with going to bed, you know, at 
a certain time and waking up at a certain time and getting into that deep restful sleep um, most of them you can of course obviously like we know in the spiritual community that we can heal all of this and that's what's so beautiful and empowering about it but for a lot of people who don't address it you will they will always have that issue of like not fully being able to relax their body and go into a deep REM sleep and they'll always have like fitful sleep and wake up at the drop of a hat and whatever because they had this stress of dealing with very unpredictable parents, you know, and they might not even know that that's abnormal, right? Like there's people who have issues with physical intimacy and this might apply to some of you where, you know, it's like someone, you know, maybe you really like someone and you even want to be close to them, but when they try to cuddle you, it's kind of like, oh God, it's, it's too much, you know, because you didn't get that kind of love as a child. You didn't cuddle up with your parents all the time. You know what I mean? You didn't feel safe with them and they were just kind of a little bit negligent or, or whatever the case may be. But the point is, is that, um, and again, it might, I'm just giving specific examples, so that may apply to you directly, but it may not. But the point is, I feel like you guys have some kinds of trauma or like unhealthy patterns from your childhood that you got from your parents, probably that they got from their parents and their parents got from their parents and so on and so forth. You know, a lot of these generational traumas, I mean, they go back so long, so long. And you guys can be the chain breaker who really puts an end to that. And I feel like that's why you needed to go through this. Because if you guys had been given this happy family situation beforehand, I don't think you guys would have known how to maintain it. Like, I feel like you guys would have... Like, I feel like you guys have seen dysfunction from your parents and you guys would have had that same pattern. Not by choice, but just because that's what you grew up around and that's what you learned. Um, and so it's like... Wow, and you guys have angels around you. We just got June, which is this month. Um, but I also, the angel there is so prominent. And I, I really feel like, like I mean, what does an angel have to do with June anyway? <laughs> like usually the, the cards have to do with the month, but you got an angel there. And I do feel like the, the angels are watching over you so protectively. Um, and they're really proud of the steps you guys have taken. I feel like you guys just need to kind of keep your chin up, keep going. And then eventually I feel like you guys are going to have a soft place to land. Um, and we got kangaroo, which like is always jumping around, but I'm hearing soft place to land. And by the end, we got July. Okay, so I feel like this is going to happen very soon. Like it's happening now. So you guys might see your luck really start to change immediately, which is so awesome, so exciting. And we are going through so much amazing astrological stuff right now. There's this kind of massive Mercury retrograde. I mean, Mercury retrogrades kind of frequently. So usually it's like, it's a big deal, but it's not that big of a deal. But this one is like a huge one. And there's so much happening astrologically. There's eclipse season, which is like when we see the biggest changes. So that would make a lot of sense. I feel like maybe this is your time and it's like you're at the end of it. I do get the sense the, that would make sense to me because I get the sense that this energy has been happening for a while that it didn't like just start going haywire last week like I feel like you guys are at the end of this journey um, even if it doesn't happen in July June I feel like it is you're coming to the end you guys have kind of made it through I'm literally hearing that song by Madonna I think it's like a virgin which is not really related to this but and she says um I, I was in the wilderness, but I made it through or whatever. Um, didn't know how lost I was until I found you. So I feel like it's like, yeah, you guys are going to come out of this and you're going to be like, damn, I didn't even know that it was so that it was so bad and that I deserve better. I'm hearing that you guys deserve better. Um, and yeah, I just feel like you guys are going to really be blown away by this new kind of life that you have. Like I'm hearing you guys deserved it. I'm hearing I earned it. Um, like that song from The Weeknd where he's like, I earned it. Like that's, that's what I'm hearing. I feel like you guys really have, you guys have like loyal, sweet hearts. You guys are not, you know, 
so many people in this world today, like it's a tough world we live in, you know, there's so much negativity going around, um, like for everyone, you know, no matter how much you avoid it, even if you just pick up a newspaper, it's like all the top stories are just like, Ugh, depressing, you know, and I, I feel like it's so easy for all of us to get sucked into that, to get sucked into a negative mindset, to be nasty to others or, or resent people or, you know, just carry around like dislike of other people or easily annoyed by other people or whatever. And it's a very low vibration energy to be in. And it's also very easy to slip in because, you know, a lot of the media kind of pushes us in that direction, pushes us to resent people or to, you know, harbor hate in our heart or to um, make judgments or whatever. And I feel like you guys have really resisted that and spirit saying that. They're saying you kind of passed the test a little bit. And so it's like you guys, it's like now you can proceed to the blessing a little bit um, because a lot of other people would have taken on like, and that's the reason why you guys were able to break this bond with your family because I'm hearing that again your family is very dysfunctional and you have even though maybe you have some trauma from that and I think you've adapted some things that you needed to correct overall you've kept your deepest at soul energy pure you know what I mean yeah maybe you have an issue with sleeping like I said earlier or an issue with you know someone says something and you feel triggered and it's upsetting and or whatever and and you're not perfect and there's things you have to work on but your soul you've kept pure you've kept optimistic and young at heart and that's what's so important and that is what is going to um, provide you with the deep reward so what's coming in as far as reward is like family a really um, beautiful family situation um, and like I feel like you guys are going to be like oh this is what a family can be like this is what love is gonna be like oh my god oh my god I wish I had like a trumpet to play like a, some trumpet sound effects to be like da 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 but what just flew out and I just felt so called to pull more cards even though I usually just do one deck at a time and then move on but I felt called to go back to the Rider weight. And you got the Wheel of Fortune, which is the ultimate, like, luck is changing in your direction. And I do feel like that's happening now. You guys might not even believe me. And you might, like, it might have been that you've been going through this for so long that you're kind of like, <laughs> okay, it's not going to happen. Like, please, whatever. It's just not, it is not going to happen. I, it's been going on too long. Like, we're too stuck on this. But it is going to happen and we got the moon we like I said we are going through eclipse season right now and I feel like there's this has to do with the eclipses is what I'm getting and it also might be um, the new or full moon I forget I haven't been keeping track of what's coming up sorry guys I usually keep track of that but I've just been having other stuff on my mind but you can look that up um, we just had a full moon <laughs> We just had a full moon, so the new moon should be coming up in like two weeks. Um, let me, so what kind of, specifically, what kind of rewards is coming in for pile one? What specific rewards will be coming in for pile one? What specific rewards? Okay, so we got the lovers. What specific rewards are coming in for pile one? Oh my god, and we got wedding. Wow. So, yeah, what is coming in for you guys, like I said, is like a romance, a family. Um, and I feel like you guys are just going to, again, have a soft place to land is what I'm getting. Like, I feel like you guys, it's almost like you've been fighting your whole life. You've had to just keep fighting, and it's like you're you're kind of exhausted but you're also used to it and you're just like okay that's what I have to do I have to be fighting all the time but what they're telling me is that's about to end and you are not going to be stuck in this anymore um, what kind of blessings are coming in for pile one? Oh my god we got new life wow that's so exciting and building blocks so yeah I, this is about you creating like a solid foundation for your life you know um and we got clean it up again i feel like you guys are cleaning up so much karma we also got yin so i'm getting that like ugh, 
so much of the energy you guys have been in is like you've had to fight for so much of your life. You've had to be that fighter that's just like, you know, getting kind of like punched in the face and then it's like you get knocked out, you have to get back up. You know, have you ever seen, I don't watch like MMA or anything because I'm a Pisces with a Cancer Moon and I, it's too like, too brutal for me to watch. I, I can't watch that stuff at all. But I have seen like photos of or like a some maybe a video clip or two of you know someone who is like in the ring and it's like they they get hit and then they have to get back up and then it's like they, they're still there and they're still fighting and they they still are in it trying to win and I feel like that's you guys like it's like you're kind of staggered around but you're still there you're still trying you are still going and it's like that is so beautiful but what I actually feel like is coming in is restful energy. Like you guys aren't gonna have to be fighting. You guys aren't gonna have to be in this constant like fight for your life, kind of like blood, sweat and tears, just like I, I gotta keep going kind of energy. Like you guys are gonna be able to rest. We got yin energy and that is more of like the feminine receptive energy, whereas yang is that masculine aggressive energy. Yang is more about like going out there and getting it and fighting and whatever and yin is more about receiving waiting being in rest that's that's something that has really been a theme of this um reading i i didn't mean for it to be but i keep mentioning sleep rest maybe you guys also feel physically exhausted and haven't been able to sleep in the pat in this past period but i feel like you guys are going to be able to get to like sleep, relax, just rest, feel safe. I feel like that's also something. You guys might live in a living situation where it's like you can't really sleep all the time, like there's a lot of noise around you. Maybe you live in a major city and it's like, you know, there's always a street cleaner or a siren or someone with their car alarm or whatever. Or you might just be like in a noisy neighborhood where there's always people running around shouting outside or a family situation. Maybe you live with, you know, family and they're always making noise or they're always stressing you out and you can't really sleep and your sleep is disrupted. But I feel like that is something like you're just going to be able to kind of like take a breath finally. And I feel like when that happens, there's so much calm and peace coming in. And you're going to have a family that you really dreamed of and the kind of love situation that you also dreamed of. Like, I feel like maybe that's something you always wanted was that happy family. And I feel like for so many people who, um, who grow up, who aren't in happy families, they just think, well, this is just how it is for me. Like, yeah, some people have beautiful, happy families where, you know, it's like, at least in America, they're running around outside and like, the summertime and the sprinkler and the, you know the mom's passing out popsicles and the dad's barbecuing and everyone's laughing and you see that on movies or tv shows but you're like that's just not my life i don't get that i don't deserve that and that's just how it is but what spirit is telling me is you're going to get that and if you dreamed of that as a kid or that's something that you wanted was to just have that family where you can trust the people where you can you know feel safe safety is such an important theme like not just physical safety, although I'm also getting that could definitely be a theme for a lot of you, but emotional safety. Like you can open up, you can laugh, you can tell a joke. There's so many people who are like narcissists or just have emotional issues that get like triggered by people being happy. Like it's so weird and bizarre, but so many people feel very uncomfortable when someone's like running around, you know, genuinely happy and laughing. And you might've had parents like that where when you were in a good mood, they would be mad at you or they would start a fight or, you know, where it just, there wasn't laughter. There wasn't that sense of like, I can relax, I can open up, I can be myself. And and you know, I can feel safe and people like me. They like me for who I really am. And I feel like that's what's coming in. Like you guys are going to get this beautiful family life that you dreamed of. It might even be that house with like the white picket fence kind of vibe. You know what I mean? It might be that kind of dream. Like you might be like looking on Instagram and all your like saved, you know, um, posts are like beautiful houses and stuff. Um, or, you know, you have a Pinterest page devoted to like interior decorating or something. But I feel like a, 
you are manifesting and you are bring what's coming in for you is this home family life situation um and it could be like a beautiful house and a beautiful you know like a beautiful whatever you think is the prettiest interior design but almost it looks like something from you know a magazine or something just a beautiful setting where you can be like i can't believe this is mine like maybe you grew up in a house that wasn't like that where you know, there was chaos or it wasn't that pretty or it was kind of run down and maybe your parents had issues paying the bills or whatever and no judgment for anyone. You know, we all have, I mean, money is like a separate energy that it takes time to learn how to manifest. So, you know, I totally get it, but I feel like what you guys are manifesting is having that and being able to fully relax and open up and having the financial and home life that you always dreamed of. So let me spin some Astro Dice for you guys. So what is pile one bringing in? What is going to be their reward for the difficulty they've been going through? So we got Venus, we got Scorpio, and we got the fifth house. So fifth house is ruled by Leo, the sun, and I feel like that is very much the energy you're bringing in. Really, sun is such a like underrated planet in terms of astrology um, because it, it's really the source of all light. And so Leo gets kind of like like made fun of for being like full of themselves but that's such a misunderstanding of leo energy because leo really i mean sometimes they can be a little egotistical but you know it's kind of for a reason because that leo energy is literally so beautiful powerful and it brings light and i feel like that's what's coming in to your situation i'm also hearing um you know it's like the best antiseptic is sunlight. Have you ever heard that? Like people will talk about that in terms of trauma and stuff. I feel like there have been a, a lot of families where there's been some form of abuse going on or just dysfunctional situations where the kids are pressured to be quiet and it's like, don't talk about it because no one wants to have their public reputation ruined. But so, so then the kids carry around this trauma, carry around this dysfunction in private. And I feel like you guys are like the chain breakers. You guys are putting an end to that and you're bringing the sunlight in and you're being like, you know what? I, I don't feel like hiding this anymore. I don't feel like pretending like everything's okay anymore. And I'm gonna unearth all this and figure out why I, do certain dysfunctional things and if it traces back to you my parents then you know that's that and you guys aren't willing to pretend or to go along with it anymore and that's such a powerful energy and that's really the energy that will bring in like that generational shift so that your kids and their kids and their kids don't have to have the same um generational chains around them that you did growing up so we also got scorpio which is that same theme um bringing out secrets scorpio is like the detective and scorpio if you try to lie to a scorpio and they get like a sense that something's wrong they will like question the hell out of you until they they just know you know and they hate when you lie to them and so again i feel like you guys have maybe been raised in a family environment where you were expected to lie, where you were expected to hide certain things, where you were expected to put a smile on your face, even when dysfunctional stuff was going on that you knew was like off, um, to say the least in some cases. And now it's like, you're like, no, I'm taking the tape off. I'm opening my mouth and you guys can't stop me. And that's a very powerful energy. And at first you'll face a lot of opposition, but then the universe will, will reward you. And I'm not saying, you know, people should be blasting everyone's business, whatever, but you know, your healing should be paramount. And it's like, you shouldn't be, you know, I, I mean, necessarily like I'm, I want to destroy this person. I'm going to say, but it's like, you speaking your truth is such a powerful thing that will help others. And so it's like, if someone, you know, feels like I, I you're supposed to keep a secret and that secret involves abuse or some deep trauma, in my opinion, that's really messed up, you know? So it's like, of course we should examine that and work through those things and speak honestly about it, you know? And 
honestly to ourselves. Examine that, hold it up into the light and be like, you know, is this the pattern I want to repeat? And so I feel like that's what you guys are doing. And then we finally have Venus and that's something that is majorly coming in. We got the lovers, we got the 10 of cups, we got happy family. You guys really are manifesting in this romantic relationship that I feel like is going to lead to a family. I feel like you guys, if you want, you know, a lot of kids, that's something that is definitely wanting to come in. But I'm also just seeing that image of a house so I don't know like I feel like maybe you guys are manifesting a new house a new living situation and also um and also like I don't know a partner that will like somehow give you a house <laughs> I'm not saying they'll give you it. I mean, maybe they're really rich and they can just give away houses to anyone. But, um, but you know, I feel like it would be that kind of thing where that person would come into your life and maybe because of their finances alone or maybe because of your combined finances, but there would be some purchase of a house involved. And I feel like that would just mean everything to you guys where you would be really happy about being able to decorate it, to put in, you know, like pick out the drapes, pick out the wallpaper. And maybe that's something you guys already kind of are interested in but that's something that I keep seeing in my mind is like a new beautiful really beautiful house so um and Venus rules like luxury so I feel like even though we haven't gotten that much money cards here I feel like this relationship and family vibe it's just so like happy seeming that I feel like money can be a major source of stress in families if you don't have enough of it. So the vibe I'm getting here, because I'm I'm picking up on such like a stress-free life, is like, yeah, maybe you guys aren't multi-billionaires or mil like millions and millions and millions of dollars, but you guys have at least a level of financial comfort where there is not this like need to worry about money all the time you're not kind of like, oh my God, which do we pay? The gas bill or the water bill or the electricity bill, you know? That's not the vibe. It's like, there's money there. And again, it may not be you're having billions and billions, but you can have enough money to live a certain level of luxury, what I would consider to be luxury, and maybe redecorate, maybe, you know, move into a place that you really love. It's not just like, well, it's, you know, an apartment and I don't really like the look of it, but, I mean, it's okay, and it's 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 in an okay neighborhood, and you know, it's it's not that big, but it's fine. Like this is like a beautiful living space, you know, um, with I feel like everything you want. Like I I just see someone going through, you know, like interior design catalogs or something, or picking out like paint samples and trying them all out. So I feel like for you guys, this new house, it's gonna be nice. It's going to be. Um, it's going to be something that is like above average. It's not just like you're moving into a new place and it's a shack, you know what I mean? It's a nice, it's a nice, beautiful living environment and that would definitely support Venus. Um, and so, yeah, I just think you guys have been through it and so much of the energy in your lifetime is about family and about switching the family karma and turning it into positive karma for the new generation so that your kids are going to have this beautiful peaceful environment have you ever you know when you were growing up at least i had a few friends where like i'd go over to their place and i'd be like oh my god this is like heaven like you know they'd have like a beautiful house and sometimes they'd have like a nanny or something and there'd be like fresh food like put out and you know you'd, you'd be like playing in like a beautiful playhouse or something and you'd just be like oh my god like this is so awesome and maybe their parent would come home and their parent would be like really nice and calm and of course you never know what goes on behind the scenes but I would always be like wow like I want to move into this place like and I feel like you guys are creating that kind of life for your kids where they're not going to have to have the trauma and the dysfunction that you grew up around they are going to have this restful place I've also found like the most successful people I know at least young successful because I think a lot of times um, people who grew up with like more of a dysfunctional upbringing have success later in life once they've kind of had to take care of that earlier stuff but I find a lot of the people that get success like early like 20 and stuff a lot of times not always but a lot of times they had parents that were like that like parents that were just so supportive where they were like you know I'm interested in like 
music and they would sign them up for, you know, songwriting lessons or something. Like, it's like they just had this level of support. They had this level of calmness at home so they could focus on their dreams, their desires. And they could start figuring that stuff out really early at like age 12 instead of everyone else who kind of has... <laughs> to deal with family stuff until they're like 25 and they're finally like, oh, let me stop dealing with this. And then, you know, and then they re move on to that stage. So I feel like you are going to have kids that are gonna be able to really positively change the world because you create this amazingly beautiful, happy life for them. And you're gonna also re reap the benefits of it because it's just gonna be like such a refreshing lifestyle. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope it resonates um, and I hope you guys are excited because because again, I sense it coming in and the energy shifting for you guys pretty soon. We got June and July. So, you know, it might not be that's when you move into this place, but I feel like the path that you're on right now, it's you're already going to start seeing it clear out a little and some blessings start to come in and then it's going to lead you on this path that's eventually going to be this beautiful family life this beautiful housing situation and yeah you'll have to invite me over because i want to see this beautiful little mansion or whatever it is <laughs> this beautiful looking house that i can see in my mind like invite me over for sweet tea or something but um yeah i hope that helped you guys please let me know if it did in the comments and make sure you're subscribed i post every few days so if you want to see more videos, make sure you're subbed and I will see you then. Have an amazing day. Take care, guys. Bye. Hey, Paul, too. So if you guys picked this brown cookie, this is going to be your reading. It looks like a gingerbread kind of cookie to me, but I don't know what it is exactly. Just guessing. <laughs> Obviously, it's fake. So, um, but it, yeah, it looks really good. So let's get into your reading. So you pulled some pretty exciting first card. I pre-pulled cards, by the way, but you guys got the Nine of Pentacles. I love seeing that. Obviously, that means financial stuff incoming, but I pulled a bunch of cards for you. So let's get into what the rest of them are. You guys also got the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, baby, the World, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups, and finally the Six of Swords. So what I'm getting for you guys coming in is obviously financial in abundance, and this is just like a new start in so many ways. I'm actually feeling, I can feel your guys' power, and it's like, whoa, I feel like I took like a shot of an energy drink. It is so powerful, so amazing. You guys have so much raw, like I feel like you guys, I'm surprised we didn't get the magician card because I feel like you guys are just really amazing manifestors. Um, I don't know if you hear that. I think there's like an airplane flying, flying overhead, so it's kind of making my window rattle. And there's cicadas in the background, so I don't know if you guys can hear that too. But anyway, yeah. So as I was saying, I feel like you guys are amazing manifestors. I'm surprised we didn't get the magician. You guys, I feel like you're radiating this raw power. I can literally feel it just flowing through me, giving me a lot more energy than I had starting with this reading. Um, it's like you guys, I feel like you're primed to take on the world. Like you're just brimming with this energy and it's so strong, so powerful. It's like, I, you're just waiting to be there on stage. It's like you're, I yeah, it's like I'm seeing the image of someone like waiting off stage, like in the dark. And you know, it's like they know their part is gonna come on or they're about to be introduced by like the MC or something and they're just like hyping themselves up. Like, you know that scene, I haven't seen the movie, but I think I've seen, I don't know, clips from it or something. I don't know, maybe this is an image from that, but like in 8 Mile, you know how he does that? What's the name of that song from 8 Mile um, where it's like mom spaghetti? <laughs> that song. Um, and he says like, I think it's Lose Yourself. Yeah. So it's like that song. You know how amped up it is? And it's just about like this. Um, he says I only got one shot. And it's like, you better go. And then he's he's just like pouring everything he has into this song. And as soon as they say go, you know, come on stage, he's not, he doesn't have any stage fright. He's not like, uh, well, okay. So any got way guys, I, I made this song for you today. I hope you'll like it. Um, if you guys could cue it up, I'm a little nervous. Like, no, he's, he, they say, hi, come to the stage, Eminem or whatever. And he's like racing on and he's like, 
let me go. Give me that, grabbing that mic and this is my moment. And I feel like that's the energy I'm getting with you guys. You guys are ready to do whatever this is to manifest the things you want. And the energy is in your favor. We got Wheel of Fortune, which is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of luck. And we got the world, which is kind of like the ultimate fulfillment. You guys have... Um, the wheels of luck turning for you guys might be a Pisces because Jupiter is in Pisces this year. So it's kind of, um, Pisces. It's like Pisces is the celestial favorite this year. So if you're a Pisces, know that luck is definitely on your side, but it also applies to a ton of other signs. I mean, Jupiter puts luck wherever it goes. You guys also could just be natal Sagittarians or have like a very prominent natal Jupiter, like aspecting your sun or something. Or you guys might be um, a, one of the signs that has it in like their 10th house, house of career. So you don't have to be a Pisces to feel the effects of Jupiter at all. Um, it's just that it's going to be in your first house, like if you're a Pisces or Pisces ascendant. But if you, you know, are another sign, it can totally still be in your 10th house, which will give you career benefits, or it could be in your second house for money, or it could be, um, in your 11th house of friends, like it could be anywhere. And so you guys have Jupiter strongly placed in your life right now, bringing you down those blessings, bringing you down luck. Um, and it's just like a strong energy. And like, see this, this window rattling thing, I feel like that's your guys' energy. I've never had this happen before. I didn't even know it rattled like this. Um, and I've obviously you know, been down here a lot by this window. I've never heard it rattling. Like the window is literally rattling. That's how much power you guys have in you that you're making like the walls shake. I mean, that's pretty crazy. So yeah, there is so much power in this reading. I can really feel it. You guys just have so many aces. Um, I will say the only thing I'm getting from spirit is that sometimes maybe some of those emotions can be a little overpowering. Like it's like if something bad happens or if something goes left, sometimes maybe you can be a little bit too much like thrown by it. Like I'm loving this energy I'm getting from you guys. I can feel it so powerfully, but sometimes it's almost like when you burn too fast, you can burn out early or you have so much energy flowing through you, but like something bad happens. And instead of just being like, well, okay, let me think about it intellectually. You're like, no, I I can't believe it happened. Well, like, you know, and that can be, um, block your manifestations because then your energy shifts from being like aligned with your goal. So positive, you know, abundant into like depressed, upset, whatever. And so that's the only thing I'm getting is like sometimes maybe with the emotion, it might be a little bit too much. Like it's good to have this emotion. I feel energized by it, but you just want to make sure you don't burn it out so that, you know, your this energy you have is such a gift, but you want to almost like streamline it. You know, it's like how they can make it take a dam and they build dams for a reason. It's because, you know, that water rushing through the creek every year, like, yeah, that's a good thing, but it can be dangerous if too much flows through at once. You know, people can really die. And also people can die from drought if it rains, you know, a couple times a year and then it's not flowing for the rest of the year. And that can also be a problem. So they build a dam, they dam that up, and then they release it slowly, consistently over the year. And I feel like that's what you guys maybe can learn to do with your energy. Take this beautiful energy that you guys have which is so wonderful and strong and just learn to kind of ride it you know ride it at your at your own pace so you're in control so it's not controlling you you're the one that decides how it flows you guys are such powerful manifestors and the only thing is with this energy this is a gift but you don't want to waste it it's kind of like if I gave you a ton of money you could go out and buy a bunch of random like knickknacks, you know, like you could go to, you know, like at least in America, we have these kind of discount home goods stores where it's like you can buy and trust me, I love going to them when I have like stuff to decorate with. But you know, there have been times when it's like you go and you buy a bunch of little stuff for like 10, 20 bucks each. And then you come home and you're like, huh, like I have all this stuff, but I mean, I don't know if I'm going to keep this little, like, you know, figurine for the rest of my life. And, uh, you know, you spent money on it that maybe you could have used for some other purpose, you know? So it's kind of like when you see someone inherit a lot of money and they blow through it on, like, 
random nights out or you know treating all their friends out to a restaurant and while that's nice maybe they could have put the money into like real estate or investing or bitcoin or something that would benefit them more long term so i just feel like maybe you guys need to learn to funnel your energy a little and control it um so i'm not really i i feel like with the hard times I'm not really even <laughs> getting where you guys had hard times. Hopefully spirit can enlighten me a little bit more. Um, I do feel like sometimes maybe with this energy, I feel like maybe sometimes people can be annoyed with you or take offense. Like it's like, oh my God, calm down. Or like this person's so full of themselves kind of a thing. I notice that a lot with Leos. People will be like, saying like Leos are so full of themselves and they are a little bit but it's for a reason because they're ruled by the sun the ultimate benefic and so it's like you know a lot of times when people are like oh my god that person's so full of themselves it's like it's like they're they are so unaligned with abundance and self happiness that they can't stand it in someone else you know and of course we don't want to be narcissists we don't want to be you know prioritizing ourselves over everyone else and like you know completely selfish but Feeling good about yourself, loving yourself, being full of energy and joy, those are all positive things. And if anyone reacts negatively to you about it, that's something, just ignore them. You know, just know where they're coming from is a place of low vibrational jealous energy and it's not even it's not even worthy of worrying about or even thinking about twice. Um, and I feel like that might be something with you where like people think you're like too much. Like sometimes you rub people the wrong way or they're like, oh my God, like calm down or like something like that. Um, that's the only like negative thing I'm seeing coming through. And also the too much energy. I feel like sometimes you've given your energy unwisely, maybe to people that don't deserve it. Like, you know, you maybe see the best in people, like you're very positive yourself, so you've seen the best in someone else, so you've tried to help them, and then that person doesn't reciprocate or doesn't appreciate it afterwards. They're just like, oh, thanks, bye. And they just kinda never give you the credit and never feel grateful to you. And it, you know, it obviously is gonna hurt after a while of that happening. So again, I just feel like a theme for you is being really judicious with your energy, really learning to um, make sure that you are you know watching your energy and using it wisely and not just spreading it out because you know you're feeling good and you're in the moment and you want to be nice like sure that's fine but just be smart because your energy is like this gift of like solid gold and one card at a time spirit please one card at a time So what kind of blessings is pile two going to have? So we got moonlight, magic stream, spirit of place, sacred pool, golden palace. What kind of difficulty was pile two having? Okay, we got deep freeze, stuck in the mud, slow and steady details at home okay so I'm getting something now something else coming through that I feel like for a while yeah it felt like stuck in the mud is really sticking out to me like I felt like you guys were stuck or kind of I don't know how to describe it like trying to move forward trying to manifest things and it wasn't working and you guys again have so much powerful energy you guys have so much strong manifestation ability but it was like you couldn't move things forward you know you couldn't push things along um into into like actual action you know what i mean like yeah you were manifesting but then like when is it coming through you know um and you might have actually felt stuck like in a career, in a job, in a school situation, in a living situation that you really didn't like. It might have been a living situation because we have a couple cards that relate to that. So it might have been something where like you had a horrible living situation, especially with coronavirus that has done such a number on so many people's um, living situations with like rent and, you know, evictions being stopped, at least in many places in the U.S. So, um... So it might have been something with that, but 
yeah, it's like you guys were kind of put on pause. And I feel like, again, you guys are such naturally energetic people that I think that was really difficult for you. I think it was really difficult to see like, when is this gonna happen? Why are things not moving forward? They should be moving forward and they're not, you know? Um, but I feel like you guys could really, at this point, kind of manifest anything you want. Um, you know, you guys, I think, you know, what I'm hearing was things were blocked for a reason and it was because timing had to line up. I don't think there was necessarily that much wrong with your manifestation or with what you were doing in life, but I feel like you guys needed to, things needed to be worked out on the spiritual realm. Like we got details, details, details. And I feel like a lot of times what this was, was, you know, you have like, it takes a while for spirit to align things. Like it's like, you know, in order for you to have that moment where you run into your soulmate at the grocery store, spirit has to like get you both to the grocery store at that exact time. They have to have like you run out of milk and your soulmate be like, okay, really want to try this recipe. And you guys end up there at the same time, but there has to be like factors. You know what I mean? There has to be that friend that comes over to your place and randomly drinks your milk and you don't notice until you know Saturday at 3 p.m. and then you're like oh my god I needed the milk okay let me go out to the store and you know it's it's stuff like that like there it takes time for things to line up and I just think that um things things weren't ready at that moment and so for you I feel like maybe sometimes you've been questioning like am I doing something wrong with my manifestation why haven't things been happening why haven't they been moving forward and what I'm hearing is that things needed to be lined up for you but you guys have such a positive energy and spirit's really telling that to me of like you know they really love that about you they really love the fact that you have been still so positive and still like keeping your chin up and you haven't really let things get to you so let me pull some more cards what kind of difficulty was pile two going through and what rewards are they gonna have so we got adjacent possibilities angel of balance strategy so yeah again i feel like they're and six six chakra archangel metatron and one more card third chakra archangel chamuel and attachment i just feel like you guys woman holding a coin you guys had you guys have some big blessings coming in for you but the bigger the blessing, the more like tricky it is. I mean, spirit can make anything happen. Like obviously God is all powerful and they can, you know, he can do whatever he wants, but it takes time in the natural sometimes for everything to line up like naturally, you know what I mean? And, and not have it be like some crazy mishap that like makes the news. You have to have those kinds of random coincidences. Like I was just, I keep getting this in my mind, but I was just out to dinner the other week with uh, my friend. And as I was walking into the restaurant, I ran into someone that I hadn't seen in literally years that I was meaning to reach out to. And I kept thinking of them all the time. And I was just like, oh, like, I'd... and it was the most perfect thing. And we ended up chatting for like 10, 15 minutes. And I was like, I am so glad I saw you. And they were like, I can't believe I saw you. Like, what are the chances of this? And I remember that when I was getting ready to go, there were a bunch of mishaps. I ended up being an hour late because I was like taking a spiritual bath beforehand. <laughs> and then I I was like, I need more time. I, I didn't plan the timing right. And anyway, like then my friend had overslept. So when I called her and I, I was texting her like, hey, can we be a little bit late? And she didn't respond. And then she was like, oh, sorry, I, I totally overslept. Can we actually push her back an additional 15 minutes? Then she was a couple minutes late showing up and I was just like chilling in my car. And all that to say, cause I know you guys don't care about the little details, but the point is, is that all those little tiny annoyances were literally the perfect timing. If we had been 30 seconds earlier or later, we wouldn't have run into each other because they would have been sat down um, at their table. Cause I ran into like a, a few people that I knew and um, in the same group. And then um, I, I would, so either they would have been sitting down or I would have been in the restaurant without them. And it was literally the most 
perfect timing ever in history. If it had been a couple seconds in either direction, it would have been a total miss. And of course, sometimes in that moment when someone's like, hey, can we actually, I overslept, you can choose to be annoyed. You can choose to be like, oh my God, this is a nuisance. Or you can be like, yeah, sure. And know that you know, God and spirit is timing everything. And I'm just getting that, I, you know, that I should bring that up to you guys because I just feel like the timing of this um, was needing to happen this way on purpose. So you guys have been kind of like pushed back a little bit, like you would try for something and it wouldn't quite work out, but all that needed to happen. And like the angels are kind of timing this very precisely. There's something about this that it's like, it's in the details. There's some kind of details that needed to line up to get you guys into the right um, alignment so that this can happen the right way. There's also like, like a lot of wealth coming in. Um, and so I feel like, yeah, with the wealth thing, sometimes that like takes extra time, you know? Wealth is like a separate energy. Money is a kind of a separate energy from love, from, you know, Rome. Like they're all its own kind of energy. And if you want to manifest money, you have to get lined up with that kind of money, financial stuff. And I feel like you guys needed to get into that shift and kind of into like queen energy, which I feel like you guys are lining up with. I was shuffling the deck and I was like putting my last cards in. And in the moment I just saw the Empress card kind of stick out, but it didn't fall out. And I was like, I'm not going to go with it, but I noticed it. And I definitely felt kind of drawn to it. And I kind of wonder if that was intended to come out. Like, I feel like you guys are lining up with your queen energy and we did get the queen of wands. I feel like you guys are coming into this master manifest your energy financially and stuff. Um, but there's like, like again, I just keep getting like it's complicated. Like I feel like there's like a lot of doors. Like see how in this there's like these multiple doors and some are open and like some are closed and it's kind of like they're constantly being opened and shut. Like have you ever seen like a footage of like a factory and it's like a really complicated machine and there's like one thing that like pushes all the items over here and then there's like an extractor that dr picks the items out and like does like a stamp on them or something and then it like puts it back into the funnel and then it goes through like a, you know, like a, I don't know, some kind of ball mechanism where it's being like bounced around and smoothed out and then it gets shot into that and then it goes into this and they're all doing something different. That's kind of what I'm seeing in my mind. Like I feel like there's just stuff happening on the other side that needs to be aligned so that your manifestations can come through. Cause I feel like you guys are like my active manifesting one where you guys know about the law of attraction. You guys are trying to do those techniques. You guys are working hard on manifesting abundance and you guys have a very positive energy to you. So I feel like that is what is going to come in is money, wealth, abundance. Um, but it's just, it's also like about leaving something behind. Um, I don't feel like you guys have anything super dysfunctional going on in your life that like you need to switch. Um, I think this is more like on the spirit end, like they need to, they need to line up the timing for you. And I also feel like you guys have been doing like reflect, like you guys have been doing the work is what I'm hearing. You guys have been doing a lot of reflecting. You guys have been willing to kind of like do the work, um, go deep, you know, mentally, um, investigate kind of, you know, your thoughts or whatever, um, unpack a lot of like, you know, learned childhood things. And you guys have been doing the spiritual work that you need to do. And so spirit is kind of calling that out and being like, yeah, like we see it and everything's lined up and it's ready to go. It just hasn't, it's like, it's kind of like locked and loaded, but they haven't shot it out yet. So what kind of blessings are coming in for a pile three what kind of blessings are coming in for pile three and what kind of hardship did they go through thinker so yeah that's what i'm seeing also like um i feel like you guys have been doing a lot of thinking and i'm getting uh like i i, I saw an image in my mind before i started the reading of a, like a whale diving down into the depths which is also a usually a sign for me of um of someone who's like doing a lot of deep thought work, kind of like, I, I that's what I call it. I don't know if thought work is like the proper word for it, but you know, when 
you kind of go through and unpack all these things that happen and you like go back into your past and you're like, okay, I remember that happened on my seventh birthday and did this and yeah, it kind of really upset me, but I don't think I dealt with it. Like that kind of work, I feel like that's what you guys have been doing. You guys have been kind of working through like past stuff. You guys have been like pulling out traumatic memories and kind of re going over them and scrubbing them all out and teasing them out. I mean like, hmm, why did I feel that way? Oh, what was that person's intentions? Hmm, what would this like? And you guys have been doing a lot of that kind of work and I feel like that is where you guys are going to have a reward. You guys have been like, going through and kind of realigning your thinking so that it's more positive. You know, we can do that with like tra traumatic situations and stuff. We can go, go pull them out, kind of like in Harry Potter, how they have that like, I don't know what it is, but it's like a pool of memories and then they can pull them out with the wand and like examine one at a time. You guys, like people can do that and you can do that with traumatic stuff and go back and kind of change it so that it doesn't affect you in the same way. And I just feel like you guys have been thinking a lot about so much in your life, thinking about, you know, what you want, thinking about your situation, thinking about why you are the way you are. And so that's where you've been doing the work and that's where the blessing is going to come in. Um, and yeah, and we got observer. So it's like, you guys are really willing to kind of go there. Um, but yeah, and we got TikTok. So I think that it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of alignment. You guys are doing the work right now and sometimes it can be really painful to go into the past and to go deep into those memories and to kind of unpack them. Like a lot of those past traumas and stuff can be unpleasant for everyone to deal with because who wants to relive something that happened that was really painful and difficult, but we do so much work in that moment. And I think that's what's going on with you. You guys have been willing to do the work, been willing to look it in the eye and face it. And I think because of that, now you're starting to align with this like almost warrior energy because it may sound stupid to like be afraid of a thought, but a lot of people are afraid of dealing with their thoughts, of going through the pain, of unpacking that. That's why you'll see someone who is like, someone brings up some childhood memory and they just break into tears, like uncontrollable tears. And they're like, oh my God, how could you talk about it? It's like, because they were so afraid of dealing with it. And that can be terrifying for so many people to deal with some painful memory that happened when they were five years old and like kid, a kid on the playground was bullying them or something. Those memories can be more terrifying than like, you know, an armed burglar or something. And you guys have been really unafraid to go and face it and dive in. And that's actually so admirable. And that's what spirit is recognizing is that you guys were willing to go through and fix it. And we got cracked cup and I'm seeing that thing. I forget the name of it, but it's like the Japanese technique of where they'll take a vase, a broken vase or something and heal it together with gold. I think it's like Shingiri or something. I don't remember. Excuse me if you're Japanese and I'm sure it's not called that, but like, I don't know. It was something similar like that. But you, um, you know, it's about taking the past um, or taking something that is broken and fixing it. And I feel like that's something that you guys have been working on is taking stuff that happened that was painful or difficult and smoothing it over in your mind and moving on to a more positive place. And so spirit is telling me that because you've been willing to do that work, um, they're going to reward you and it's going to be financial rewards in particular. Um, and also rewards with, um, like home life and home situation. So you might be moving to a new place. You might be having like a really nice house that you'll be moving into eventually. But there's this financial aspect to the work you've been doing where they feel like because you've been unafraid to confront those like past painful memories and stuff, um, now you're kind of ready to step into the energy of abundance. And we got tiger and elephant. So I feel like you guys are like a tiger. Like you guys are so unafraid of things and you've kept this brave energy and spirit is really pleased with it, you know? So right now you're very strong in your manifestation abilities. We got wishbone. So it's almost like your wish is my command. Like you can manifest whatever you want. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you 
you guys are trying to manifest money, which is going to come in. But if you wanted to manifest something else, you know, love, whatever, I feel like you could just do it. You have the wheel of fortune on your side. You have this tremendous potential. Again, you guys have been doing the work spiritually, doing the work mentally, doing the work emotionally. And so it's like, whatever you want right now, it's like, your wish is my command. I keep hearing that. So you don't need to like, you don't even need to um, worry about like, okay, is it going to be this kind of a thing? But I hope it's that it's whatever you want. Even if you changed your mind and said, you know, I really don't want money that much for some reason. I don't know why you would say that, but say you did and you wanted to shift totally your energy to something else. Spirit would be like, okay, scratch the money. We'll bring you that, you know? So it's really literally whatever you want. Let me get some Astro Dice for Pile 2 with their blessings coming in and any past pain. So we got the 12th house, we got the node, the north node, and we got Aquarius. So um, the north node is all about destiny, and I, I definitely get like a destiny vibe from this. Um, and actually, I don't know, it might be the south node. I need to figure out where the line goes, because I just, I think this... I think this is North Node. Um, so yeah, you guys have like a powerful, I feel like you guys doing the work, um, like it's like a destiny thing, you know? And you have this prosperity set in your path that's like going to happen, that's part of like your life journey. Um, so yeah, and the North Node is also about, you know, past experiences and it's also about timing and kind of faded events, you know? And I just feel like there's stuff that's faded that's going to come in for you. And the reason why it hasn't yet is because it's not the right moment. Again, I keep getting that timing is an issue and they just want to line things up so that it's exactly how it should be. It's not like half you know, ha done halfway, they want it to be exactly right, which means we're not going to rush it. We're not going to do it too early. We're not going to just be like, well, okay, we're kind of in a hurry. So let's just throw it in. Like it, it's going to be done right. It's going to be done correct. So that's why it might be taking a little bit more time. It's kind of like if you wanted to make a birthday cake, you could go to the grocery store and pick one up that's already pre-made for like you know, five bucks. They're pretty cheap. I think at the store, like, I don't know, seven bucks. And, um, you know, it probably, I, I hate grocery store cakes. I think they taste so bad. Um, like the pre-made ones in the bakery section. Uh, I don't, I don't like them, but, um, that's my Venus conjunct Jupiter. I, I hate, <laughs> I don't know. I hate like, uh, the, the, just the basic store ones. I, I don't know why, but I feel like they do something weird to the taste. Or you could pay for like a custom made one that's going to be beautiful and it's going to be a lot more expensive and it's going to be whatever kind of design you want, custom made, absolute perfect flavor, whatever flavor you want. And that you're going to have to pre-order by a couple weeks, you know? You're not going to be able to call them up and be like, I'll pick it up in two minutes or just walk in and grab it. You're going to have to spend more time, more money, more, more energy preparing and that's like what you have coming in is like something bigger and more important. Then we have Aquarius and we have the 12th house for Pisces. So Pisces, again, this is kind of like the energy I was getting of like someone diving deep into their subconscious, which is Pisces, Neptune. Um, and, you know, Aquarius, like the symbol for Aquarius is like water and it is the water bearer. And I just keep seeing this image of someone diving deep down into their subconscious and kind of working through past issues and kind of unpacking stuff and being willing to really do the emotional intellectual work of like investigating why that happened and learning about manifestation and learning about maybe astrology or tarot or whatever but like intellectually applying themselves to figuring out the situation you know what i mean like not just kind of winging it but you're willing to do the mental work and you're willing to dive into stuff that may be painful or maybe hidden deep into your deep into your psyche, deep into your subconscious. Um, and so it's like that is going to be uh, one of the reasons why you get the reward. And once you go into your subconscious and you fix all this stuff, it's amazing how much more um, better you can be at manifestation. Because I feel like as painful as it is to fix this stuff, to remember all these 
painful things or whatever. It's kind of like if you go through and take a car engine and you haven't fix the car engine in like 15 years and you come in and you start like cleaning it out and like you know changing this out and like fixing the rust on this and oh there's like a little you know bug a large bug that like died and like is like stuck in the motor or like a little tiny rodent or something not to be sad but it's like you you fish all this random stuff out of the engine and you clear it all out and suddenly it runs a million times better and that's kind of what you guys are in the process of doing so once you've come to the end of sorting through your subconscious sorting through the past it's like wow the manifestations are going to be on like 10 and they're going to come in really fast i actually think right now you're being slowed down i'm actually hearing you're being throttled you know how like internet providers or someone will throttle like your that's the word for it which means they deliberately will slow down your speed for some reason like it's like if too many downloads come in at the same time or too much service they will throttle everyone and make it so that or if you run out of like data for the month on your cell phone they'll throttle it so that you can't ooh, so that you can't access things as much as quickly um and that's kind of what they're doing for you right now but it's again it's lining you up while you do this work and then once it comes in it's going to be like super quick so yeah i think that's coming for you guys pretty um pretty quickly and it's really exciting you know i think that I think that once you guys have moved past this period of kind of learning, unpacking, doing the work, you're just going to be amazed at how fast things come in, how quickly you're able to make things happen, and again, how how powerful your manifestation is and how much abundance comes in because that's really i feel like you guys are my abundant pile like my money pile um because I just have so many things relating to money. So if that's something you want, that's definitely coming in very strong, very hot. It's just that right now you're kind of in the waiting room. But again, I had that image of like Eminem standing backstage, ready to go on. And as soon as the music drops, it's going to be on. And so that's kind of you. You're in that moment off stage waiting, but it's about to, it's about to pick up. And when it does, I think you're going to know exactly what's going to, what's going on. So I really hope that helped you guys. If it resonated, please leave it in the comments and make sure to subscribe. I post every few days. So if you want to see more videos, make sure you're subbed and I will be back soon with another video. Um, but I hope you guys have an amazing day. I really hope this helped and I am sending you guys so much love and light. So have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey pal three, so if this is your guys' cookie, this is gonna be your reading. You guys have this beautiful, I think it's like a piece of shortbread, which I love. I um, am gluten free now, so I can't eat shortbread anymore, but back in the day, that was my jam and they are amazing. So definitely a good choice, but let's get into your reading. So I pre-pulled some cards for you guys. So we got the Ace of Cups. I'm just gonna pull them all out now. We got the Four of Wands, the Devil, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles reversed, the Hanged Man. We got the King of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Hierophant reversed. And I'm gonna shuffle some more cards as I talk. So yeah, I feel like for you guys, um, I wonder if this is like you guys, I'm kind of getting the energy that some of you might have been hung up on like an ex or have some kind of oppressive like person that didn't treat you right, I guess. Um, and so yeah, let me pull some more cards, but I just feel like the energy that wants to come in is first of all, like way more of an emotionally satisfying relationship where you guys are going to feel listened to and respected and valued. Oh, we got come together. So I think that's what I'm getting. Like, I feel like the energy that I am picking up on is that you are with someone who didn't really value you in the way they should. Um, and in, it's almost like you were too attached to that relationship a little bit. Like, um, spirit is saying that maybe you poured too much of yourself. Like maybe you even felt addicted to this person. Um, but it's like, you weren't, um, you weren't, you weren't as aware of all the things that they were doing wrong as you could have been like you wanted to see the best in them which is a good thing to do that 
to your partner, but it's not good when the partner you are doing that to is actually not treating you as well as they should. You know what I mean? Like it's good to give someone the benefit of the doubt and that's a positive thing, but the problem arises when someone's lying or they're not treating you right. Um, and so spirit doesn't want that for you. They want something better and that's kind of what you're bringing in. Um, so I feel like you guys were very loyal to this person and kind of, like I said, gave them the benefit of the doubt. Um, and it's like, you guys are like a sweet soul. You guys are kind of, um, like nice people. And I feel like you didn't want to like fight with them. You didn't want to have negativity or tension or whatever. And so there were times when like, maybe you could have stood up for yourself or maybe you could have, um, been like, no, I'm done with this, but you would stay, um, even if you weren't talking to them directly, but you would stay emotionally invested in it. Like at a time when maybe others would be like, I'm out, I'm not dealing with this. I'm good. I'm done. You would stay, um, you would stay like plugged into it. And you know, I feel like you're the kind of person. And again, this is not necessarily a bad thing at all. It's only bad in the wrong hands, right? Like in, with the right person, they're gonna love this about you. I hate when I see someone be like, well, I guess I was a doormat or I guess I'm a pushover. And it's like, no, you're not necessarily those things. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good thing to want to see the best in your partner. It's a good thing to be kind and forgiving and want someone to, to see your partner through almost rose tinted glasses and everything they do, you're like, yeah, sweetie. Like, I'm like, you're doing amazing, sweetie. You know, that, that meme, like, it's a good thing to have that vibe. The, when it becomes bad is when it's with someone who doesn't deserve it. And that's what I feel like is going on. Like, I feel like you're the type of person somewhere if someone doesn't text you when they said they were going to text you or they don't show up or they don't prioritize you you're the type of person to give them like well okay maybe they were late well I think they were stuck in traffic well I know they said they were going to text me but they get overwhelmed at work and so that's probably why you know and you would give this person like mentally like a million excuses you know what I mean and I feel like you're not even acknowledging to yourself that this caused you a lot of pain and heartache like you are the type of person I feel who is tries to be and is optimistic and tries to kind of put a smile on and make everything seem okay and be like, no, I'm fine. No, it doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? But it did bother you and it hurts you because I think you put out a lot of love. You guys might be, I can't wait to spin the Astro Dice. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm feel, maybe I will. I'm gonna spin it, oh my God, this is so early to spin it, but I just feel like you guys, uh, <laughs> I called it, I knew it. You guys got Venus. I, I, I just feel like there's such a Libra energy going on right here. You guys might have very strong Libra in your charts. We also got 11th house Aquarius and Gemini, so it could apply there too, but I just feel like you guys are such, there is such a Libra loving energy, um, and that is so wonderful. Like, I love Libras. I get along great with Libras. I'm a Pisces and kind of, you know, have a good vibe, but the problem is that Pisces do this too. You also might be a Pisces, but um, Libras can definitely be the ones to overlook a problem and just see the bright side, and again, it's positive to be an optimist, but what can be negative is when someone's misusing that positivity, misusing um, the sweetness and love you have and only take only taking and never giving. And I feel like that's what happened. Like it's like you have all this beautiful love in your heart to give and you've been kind of giving it to the wrong person. It's not even to say that this person is doing it deliberately or tried to hurt you. They might not be in a place themselves where they can receive love. It takes time to evolve to a place where you can fully honor love and be in that energy yourself. And just because you are very good at giving love doesn't mean everyone is, you know what I mean? And that's a journey they, they might have to evolve to that place because Libra is like what is Libra uh, Libra I think is the seventh sign so Libra is up there in the zodiac the, the zodiac it's not exactly like this and you can be an extremely evolved Aries but it kind of evolves from like Aries is the youngest and Pisces is the oldest um, it goes up from one up to 12 and Libra is like seven so that's kind of old you know what I mean <laughs> 
And so Libras are mature. It takes it takes time to get to that point where you are in that stage where you're able to give love so freely. You should be proud of that characteristic. That's an evolved characteristic. But not everyone is there. You know what I mean? I mean, I have an Aries Venus, so I'm not trying to call myself out, but Venus in Aries is debilitated because it can be very selfish. And Aries is like about the self, Venus is about love, and it's incompatible. And again, I'm not trying to call out Aries because I have an Aries placements, but the point is, is that um, you guys might have been with someone that just wasn't capable of giving you back fully that love that you deserve, that that sweet energy that you give out. And I feel like what you're bringing in is someone who is going to honor it and be so happy with it. And is go who is going to see it as such a gift. They're not gonna be like, oh, they texted me again. Oh my God, they're such a clinger. They're gonna be like, oh, they texted me again. My favorite person. I'm so lucky to hear from this person. I'm so lucky that I'm the pers first person they text when they think of in the mor when they wake up in the morning. I'm so lucky that I'm the first person they think of when something good happens. I'm so lucky that I get to hear their hilarious sense of humor and their joke that they just sent me in the middle of the day. I'm so lucky that I get to go to dinner with this person. You know what I mean? I feel like you've almost been made to feel like you are a burden or you are like some loser that people are like, oh, I have to hang around them again. And that's just so not the case. And if you've been made to feel that way, know that that is not coming from the light. It is not coming from positivity. And you just need to just push it out, block it out, because it is not real at all, you know? And you deserve someone who is going to really honor you and everything you bring to the table. Um, it's almost like you have been, we got follow the leader and I feel like that's what you guys have been doing. I think a lot of this deck I'm getting, you guys are very strong in your feminine energy. You guys are very strong in the yin receptive energy. And I feel like in a way you've almost been made to feel bad about that. Like you guys have been made to feel like you're too passive or you're too, um, or you're too accepting or you're too like, you know, lovey-dovey and it's annoying and it's like it's so not the case and the right person who has that yang energy is going to take it and be like so honored and just honor your emotions and you're gonna feel so emotionally fulfilled with them um, and so this is like a beautiful I mean to me this is like a love relationship coming in um, that's what I'm getting is it is a love relationship and it could result in like marriage kids um, let me get some more cards so yeah, we got emotional loss. I feel like you guys have been feeling very kind of at a loss from, and we got stand your ground reversed and spiritual union. I feel like you guys have had trouble kind of standing up for yourself or it's not even standing up for yourself because I think sometimes you don't even realize that it's like a problem. Like it's like you've just been kind of, um, you've just been kind of um, like, what's the word tolerating it but it's not even tolerating it because I think you're so forgiving that you just accept it you just for some reason you accept this bad behavior and you don't get mad at the person you don't think like I deserve better you're just like okay like yeah well they were, they were probably right to treat me that way and that's fine and you know it's like you just deserve so much more I, I I just I just want you to know that oh my god we just got goddess of the moon and that's what I feel like they want you to know is that you're like a goddess and you don't need to you don't need to tolerate this like a goddess doesn't need to tolerate the BS from some random dude you know what I mean um, or some random chick if you're a guy but um, or you know switch around the gender whatever you need to fit for you if you're a guy into guys girl into girls it doesn't matter but the point is you don't need to be tolerating this bad behavior um i'm getting flashbacks to when i was younger and i i, I was thinking about this this weekend where there was this guy that i was still i had such trouble moving on emotionally from and i really thought for a while that he might be the one and i look back now and i'm literally like i must have been crazy i never um would tolerate the things he did now um and granted i do think he had emotions for me i do think he cared about me but he was in such a negative mindset himself i don't think he could express it in the way that i deserve he was very flaky very unpredictable very um 
unaware of how to honor me in a relationship and how to be honorable and honest and forthright and all those things. And so again, I'm not saying this person doesn't care about you. Um, they very well might, but it takes a while for someone to come into their own positive energy to be able to have those positive relationships. You guys, if you guys are a Libra, I mean, a lot of Libras are just born gifted in relationships. That's the area in your lifetime that you will excel in. You know, that's what Libras do. They, they rule the seventh house, house they are all about relationships and love they're ruled by venus the planet of love the goddess of love so you guys are great at that naturally but other people aren't you know and i just think it's like when i think back about that it's literally crazy to me that i was like you know th he wouldn't text me and he would say i'm gonna text you or i'm gonna see you tonight and then he wouldn't show up or he'd be out partying and I wouldn't hear from him. And what would I do? Would I be like, wow, okay, I deserve better. Uh, I'm blocking this person. No, I would be like, oh, well, whenever he goes out, he kind of like forgets his phone and I'm sure he didn't mean it and blah, blah, blah. And I don't even think it's, it's not like he was like cheating, but if you, if you say you're going to call, call me. If you say you're gonna show up, show up. And that's the thing, you guys deserve a lot better than this, you know? And I think when you come into this better treatment, you're gonna be like, wow, why did I ever tolerate this? Because this new blessing you have coming in is going to make you realize how worthy you are. This person's also gonna be really proud of you. One thing that's coming up for me, and I, I Spirit keeps telling me to mention this, is just, um, when, and when I was in that relationship, I kept thinking about, I didn't even realize that it impacted my idea of myself. Um, and I wasn't, I saw myself as like, not really worthy of someone hitting me up when they say they're going to hit me up and like, well, maybe no one will want to, you know, to really, uh, show up when they say they're going to show up and, um, keep me in the loop and, you know, and like just step up and be a responsible, um, honorable person. You know, this person was just always very chaotic. And so anyway, I just thought that was like kind of what I deserved. I didn't realize how much it seeped into my idea of myself. Um, and that I tolerated it was like this spiritual agreement of like, sure, this is what I deserve. Cause that's kind of what you're doing when you let someone treat you badly. You're kind of signing off. Even if you don't know you're doing it, you're kind of signing off spiritually being like, yeah, this is okay with me. You know what I mean? It's kind of like if someone says, well, can I buy your car for like 20 bucks? Even if it makes no sense and your car is worth $30,000. If you sign that contract saying, yes, you can buy my car for 20 bucks legally, it's theirs and that's it, you know? And you're saying, now the car is yours and I, I deserve 20 bucks for this car. And in that same sense, when you give someone your time, your energy, and they're not giving you anything back that it's worth, you're signing off as, I'm not, I don't have that much value. And I think that later on, when you have time to reflect on this, you're gonna be like, <laughs> wow, I can't, I can't even recognize myself that I would tolerate that. It's almost going to make you sad that you were hung up on someone who didn't treat you with what you deserve, didn't give you the energy that you deserve. Cause it's not enough just to have those feelings and those emotions. It needs to be it manifested through action. So that means when you say we're going to meet for dinner at 6 PM, you're at the restaurant at 5:55. you know, and hopefully ideally you have a bouquet of roses, you know, and you're dressed nicely and you're excited and you have a smile on your face and you're like, Hey, I'm so glad to see you. You know, that's what you guys deserve. And I feel like I'm, what I'm getting is as I'm saying that it's almost like, you're like, that's impossible. No one would care that much about me. No one would treat me that way. Like, come on, full bouquet. And you know, a nice restaurant and a nice outfit. Like, come on, who's going to do that? Lots of people. You guys don't even realize how much you're bringing to this table. It's like, it's like crazy. Like you guys are not thinking clearly about yourselves. This is like why I brought up that example of a car that's worth 30,000 being sold for 20. You have this misconception of yourself as like, 
I'll just take the scraps because that's all I deserve. And Spirit is saying like, no, excuse me, uh, excuse me, no. You're not selling this car for 20 bucks to some random person. You're gonna hold out and get that 30K. And that's what you guys have coming in is someone who's going to be so honored to be around you. You're not gonna have to twist their arm of like, checks me back. Oh, can you please like answer my call when I when I call you? You're not gonna have to do any of that. You're not gonna have to be second guessing. Do they like me? Do they not? Uh, well, they said they would do this, but and then they were kind of their tone of voice was this. You're not gonna have to guess because this person is going to make it clear. This person that's coming in is going to value you so much. They're gonna feel like they won the lottery. Like what they're telling me, spirit guides, is this person that's coming in is going to literally feel like they're dating a celebrity being with you imagine if you got contacted by your favorite celebrity who was say single obviously if they're married just imagine they're not like say Chris Hemsworth hit you up randomly somehow on Instagram and was like hey I'm single imagine he's not married because I know he is but and he was like I you know I would love to take you out on a date would that be okay with you you'd be like uh, yes, and as soon as he sent you a message, you'd be responding and you'd be like typing out <laughs> everything that you needed. You'd be like the best answers you could ever give. You'd be super respectful. You'd show up for that date with like a new outfit, the best perfume. You'd show up looking as good as possible. You probably like if you could afford it, hire, you know, hair, makeup, nails, professionally done, like you'd be like so pumped to be on that date. And I feel like that's the energy of whoever's coming in. They are going to feel like, oh my God, I can't believe I get to go out with this person. They're so amazing. They bring so much to the table. I'm so lucky to be with them. And you've been treated kind of by this other person. Like you're like this afterthought or like you're just like take the scraps like it's like well I mean this person's they're okay I'm not really gonna step anything up but like yeah they're cool and so this new person that's coming in you're gonna be like everything they dreamed of you know um and you're going to be you're going to be completely amazed by how beautiful this relationship is and how happy, how nicely you are treated. Um, I'm also feeling like this person that's coming in is really attractive. We got Archangel Michael, who is the protective angel, um, and he's amazing. But I mean, no offense to Archangel Michael, no disrespect, man. But like, look at the guy on this. <laughs> they didn't need to draw him like this. They didn't need to give him a six pack and like, you know really good bone structure and like arm vein muscle veins. <laughs> they went all out on this drawing. I feel like whoever's coming in, they're gonna be attractive. We got man holding a coin, also attractive. They could be kind of like pale skinned, fair skinned, um, whatever that means for you. Obviously, if you, you might have, you know, a little more of a deeper skin tone. And then if you're looking for someone with that same skin tone, maybe they're just a little, you know, paler than you. But what we're getting is kind of like little fair skinned, um, kind of brownish, light brown hair. And this person, I feel like they have a lot bringing to the table. I feel like this person has worked a lot. They worked hard in their life and they have that kind of energy. They're very responsible. Like they know what to do to get things done. I feel like the person you were with in the past is very almost flighty, confused energy. Like again, this is why I'm saying you shouldn't even take it personally. I don't think this person is really even capable of maintaining a relationship. Even if like, again, with the celebrity example, even if like Megan Fox hit them up and was like, I want to date you. They'd be like, uh, okay, I don't know. Like they would mess it up because they're not really functional. They're very messy. They, they don't really have anything figured out energetically. This new person that's coming in has like really everything figured out. They are, I think, responsible. They know what it takes to like get a, maintain a job and to work hard. And they know what it takes when they want something, how to go after it. So with you, they're gonna bring that energy of like, I want to date you and so I'm going to take you out on nice dates and I'm going to call you, you know, when you ask me to call you. I'm going to call you if you want to be called, you know, a couple times a day. They're going to do it. If you want to be called once every other day, they're going to do it once. So whatever you want, whatever your level is, they're going to be like, absolutely, I can do that. Sure, I can make it happen. Whatever you want, you know. And um, yeah, it's like you've been 
stuck on this old person and this new energy is going to teach you like it's like you've been pining over like you have like a mansion that you're about to move in and you're like obsessed with like the broken down old hut that you used to live in you know what I mean like or you're about to like ha be driving a Lamborghini and you're crying over like a beaten down old Ford Pinto that you know is like rusted over and you're like oh I just love that Pinto and they're like uh we have a Lamborghini on deck it's about to be it's about to be delivered um and so this new person is just they're bringing so much to the table they have so much excitement for you and I feel like you're gonna just feel so fulfilled in this romantic relationship and you're gonna be like damn why did I even mm, why was I stuck on that person like ever um, you're really not even gonna recognize yourself I feel like it it's just gonna be one of those kind of like <laughs> I, I I'm embarrassed that I even care like I even cared so long you know um, but it's gonna be in a good way. You're not gonna be like humiliated. It's just gonna be like your your energy is gonna shift and you're gonna recognize that what you deserve is so much better than what you got, you know? Um, this person also might be like a soulmate or a twin flame um, because we did get the reconciliation card. So I feel like this person could be, um, could be like someone you knew in another lifetime and made an agreement with to meet up with in this lifetime um and so we got seahorse which is like family matters and i feel like you guys definitely this is the energy that will like create a family this is such a st like stable energy this is such like a let's move into the suburbs and have a bunch of kids and have a beautiful house like it's just so stable it's not um it's not this frenetic energy of this old person that I feel like would make you guess all the time. You were always like kind of on edge. This is just, um, this is just someone who is super loyal. And we got two dog cards and we got dog far away and dog close up. So I feel like, again, this is very a loyal person. And we got fair man, which is exactly what I said. So I just, I'm getting the vibe this person you know, he might be pale skinned. Um, so it could be like a white guy or an Asian guy or, you know, uh, you know, any, any ethnicity, but on the paler side. Um, and it says he has blonde, gray or white hair, but I feel like they could also have very light brown hair. Um, but it could really have any hair. And if you're thinking of someone, it could be them. Um, but uh, like, so don't, you know, if you're like, well, the person I'm thinking of is really darker skinned with dark hair, it could totally be them. This is just to kind of confirm. But for a lot of you, this is someone who, I just feel like this is like, it's almost like a businessman energy. This is like a dad energy, you know, in like the best way, like in a sexy way. And I hate to say, I am not one of those people that says like daddy in a sexual way. It makes me want to vomit, literally just saying that. But I just feel like, you know, when you see like a dad out walking, like, um, like a kid in a stroller and the dad's like really attractive, like again, not, not I am not obsessed with Chris Hemsworth, I promise, <laughs> but like, he's an example. Like when you see photos of him with his kids, it's like, oh my God, that is so cute. And it's also like hot in a way because you're like, damn, like husband material, you would make a great dad, spouse, whatever. That's like this person's energy. Like, I feel like they just, they have a lot. They're a responsible person and it's exciting. You're gonna really be able to lean into this feminine energy that you already have, but you've almost been made to feel ashamed of being feminine, ashamed of being this loving, sweet, open person because it's like, well, ugh, you're, you've been super stupid, but I think when you, like, or, or this person made you feel like you needed to be different, more masculine, more, you know, sexual or expecting less. But I think when you, this person comes in, they're gonna be, they are strong in their masculine calm energy and they're gonna be so thrilled when you come in that it's like you are that feminine type person they've been expecting. And by the way, if you are a man asking about a woman, then flip this and it's going to be a very feminine woman coming in mm -hmm. who is going to be very um, feminine in her energy and really you know, honor your masculinity and is going to kind of give you that feminine, sweet, receptive energy that you know is going to like make the 
relationship really perfect and is going to be so appreciative of you being masculine and you know taking initiative and really going to be so thrilled that you take her out to the nice restaurants and that you you know um that you appreciate her and it's just gonna make you like this is just a very divine um balanced energy because again even if you are in a same-sex relationship this is such a yin yang balance like it's like both sides bring a different thing to the relationship there's n neither one is like looping into the other person's energy there's a very receptive feminine energy and a very masculine giving energy and so it's just this beautiful union of the yin yang where both sides are able to fully lean into their power and it's really beautiful um so yeah, I, I think that's enough for these cards, but this person has some wealth that they're bringing in. So that's exciting. And also we got Turkey. And again, it's not to call you guys out, but the spirit's calling you out a little. Someone is behaving stupidly. And I'm not saying y'all are stupid, but it's just in this situation, I've been stupid too, okay? Like we've all been stupid in relationships. They're just saying like, you really need to, don't even bother about this person. You have better things coming in. This new relationship is gonna be so much better. And it's, it's fine if you wanna watch these like tarot videos about this old person, because trust me, spirit is watching over you and spirit is gonna clear out those emotions um, at the right time. You're, you're not gonna, like, it's all gonna be divinely watched over so that you meet this person at the right time. This union that's coming in, I feel is very divine. It's very divinely orchestrated. So you're not gonna really be able to mess it up. So if you wanna keep, you know, if you're hung up on this person and you wanna keep watching videos about them or thinking about them, you can, it's not gonna harm anything. This relationship is already very protected and watched over. So you don't really need to do anything. Just stay in your receptive energy because when it comes in, it's going to come in and you're gonna just be like swept away in it. Um, but they do want you to know that what you have coming in is so much better than in your past. And you are just going to be so overwhelmed and overjoyed and thrilled at this new energy. So it's definitely like your, that, I love that phrase, your latter days will be greater than your former days. That's definitely the case here. Um, your future is way brighter than your past. So that's, it's definitely exciting. And I definitely see like marriage, family, kids, if that's something that you want, that's, that's the energy is definitely there. Like. I feel like this person will really protect you and take care of you and yeah this is this is this person kind of has it all and you're gonna be very physically attracted to them and also um, really be able to trust them emotionally and you're just gonna feel very safe in this relationship which I think is so so beautiful because I think you guys haven't felt as safe and you've always had to kind of second-guess this other person and this new this new relationship is just gonna be a lot better for your heart and it's gonna honor you in a way that you deserve to be honored. So I really hope that helped you guys. If it resonated, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing your stories and stuff and make sure you're subscribed. I post every few days. So if you wanna see more videos, make sure you sub. And yeah, I will see you guys in a new reading, but I hope you have an amazing day. Sending you so much love and light and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey Paul 3, so if you guys picked this beautiful cookie, um, this is gonna be your reading. It looks really good. It has a stamp of wheat on it, so I don't know. Maybe it's, I, I think they kind of look like shortbread cookies, which I love, so. Anyway, let's get into it. So you guys, I pre-pulled the cards. You got the strength card reversed. You got the eight of, or, yeah, the eight of cups reversed, the page of pentacles, the five of swords, and the knight of cups the Three of Pentacles, the Devil Reversed, the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Magician. So you guys, I, I feel like you guys have really been going through a hard time. I sense a kind of like depressed energy and it's almost like you don't know why or you don't know what the point is of this. Um, and what wants to come in, I'll tell you right now, is some money. Um, I know it's been like a really hard time and I'm getting that. Um, but what wants to come in for you guys now is like money, abundance, finances. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I know, I know it's been really difficult and I'm getting that. 
and things have been kind of blocked for you so far. But what wants to come in is more money, um, happy, like we got prosperity begins. So yeah, I mean, I feel like you guys have been going through this for a reason, you know, maybe there's been like financial lack for many of you because we did get the Queen of Pentacles reversed, but you just need to kind of be patient, have some hope and don't, you know, give up because like, I feel like there's like truths coming out as well. You guys have been going through some hardship and like, I feel like people treated you badly. There was some deception, some kind of lies, some kind of hurt, some people... I feel like there might have been some jealousy or envy around you, to be honest. Like, I feel like there were people who came against you. And, like, it's not like an accident. Like, it's not like, you know, sometimes you get a reading and, like, someone hurts someone inadvertently. Like, a lot of times in romantic relationships, it's not like one side is, like, setting out to ruin the other person's life. But, you know, it, it can cause pain just because that's what happens when emotions get involved. But this isn't like that. This isn't like, oh, I accidentally hurt this person's feelings. This is like these people deliberately tried to hurt you. They were being nasty. I feel like there was a lot of jealousy towards you. I feel like you guys are the type of people that attract attention in some way. Um, like people are kind of drawn to you somehow. I feel like you guys have this, I don't know how to describe it. Like a playful almost like attention getting spirit like it's like you don't try to get attention but people are drawn to you they like your energy they feel comfortable around you they a lot of people might think you're funny like you might you guys might be humorous because that's what I'm kind of getting it's like you guys have this youthful sweet spirit and I'm hearing that that gets you guys a lot of attention I feel like a lot of you also might be sexually attractive like physically attractive and like people might be drawn to you in that sense and I feel like there was a lot of jealousy and I don't even think you guys were aware of it I'm feeling like you guys are like why did that person treat me so badly and you don't understand and you're like I'm just baffled like why and I'm telling you right now it's because of jealousy these people were jealous of you they envied you and they were angry um, because of the envy you know it doesn't make sense because those low vibration energies they're not sense they're not sensical or whatever the word is sensible like you like you know there's abundance in the world for all of us right so just because we got the devil card again we got temptation so like just because you have something you have this great vibe going on right doesn't mean i can't have some, attract someone else too right like it's so illogical to be mad at someone because they have a special talent. But a lot of people are very low vibrational. They're not thinking clearly. They're not thinking with their highest self or their heart. And so it's like they come at you with like, this person has attention from this person. So that means I won't get any. And so they get angry and they get vengeful and they get resentful and they direct that's that's why these people were cruel to you the spirit wants you to know that is because of envy so you shouldn't take it as an insult i feel like sometimes that has hurt your heart and you've been feeling like down about it like it's like how could someone treat me that way how could someone be so cruel because they're jealous of you and i know it's difficult but take it as a compliment because that's what it is whether they intend it to, as that or not um that's what it is and you need to actually be resilient about it because I'm feeling like you guys have this beautiful light that is exuding from you and this is another reason for the jealousy um, and you have a powerful potential on this planet to make the world a better place just you being you makes brings people joy and it brings happiness and like a lighthearted energy to the world and so people benefit and you bring light in and you're doing important spiritual work even you just existing and and coming into a room and being like hey guys kind of brightens people's day and it's a very powerful beautiful al alchemical thing and so because of that you need to protect your energy and they're telling me you need to push back mentally sometimes you will go into that space of being like they didn't like me there must be something wrong with me I maybe I'm to this maybe I'm to that maybe I was obnoxious maybe I should have said this and spirit is telling me no and you need to push back against it hard because you are like important in this spiritual realm you know it's kind of like 
if you have like in an army, you have like the general and the general generally, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, stays in the back, you know, or stays in like the tent. And they kind of direct the action from afar because the general is like the very important person that's kind of has to like make the biggest impact because they're kind of calling the shots, right? So they can't, the army just can't afford to lose the general. So they send in like the bottom of the tier people in first. And it's not to say that anyone's expendable, but what Spirit is telling me is you have a very important mission. And so you need to keep your mind right. You need to keep your emotions and your mental space right because you can't afford to lose that light. Your light is very important to this world. And so you need to keep it balance and in a happy place and i don't think that would be that hard for you i feel like you guys are naturally optimistic bright lights you might have some leo energy um but i feel like you have you you sometimes think well like all these people have been hateful to me or these people just seem to get annoyed with me before i even open my mouth i don't i don't even say a word and these people are kind of mean mugging me giving me weird looks and um, you take that personally, like the meme of Michael Jordan saying, and I took that personally. That's like you guys, like you guys think like, well, is there something wrong with me? Did I, what, why don't these people like me? And it's the opposite. There's something very right with you and you've got a lot of beautiful stuff going on. And so you've gotten jealousy and that's what happens to anyone who's successful. So you need to keep yourself mentally aware of that and not give in to maybe like a late night thought about like, well, maybe I am a total loser because this person was saying that about me. No, just block it out. You know full well in your heart of hearts that that is not true, that you bring so much to the table and that this person is coming from a very low vibrational and honestly, they're just very envious of you place. So it's nothing you should take on. And in fact, it's very important for you to not take it on and to just stay in your happy energy. And that's when your blessings are going to come in. But that's something you need to master. I almost feel like you guys might have some kind of public role coming up. Like, you might have a YouTube channel or you might have some kind of public presence or an Instagram page or maybe, I don't know, some kind of public role or just you being the person you are and going out and like talk, like you might just be like known in your hometown of like, you know, everyone knows Tony or everyone knows Brittany or whatever, you know, it might just be one of those situations where like, but there's like some public aspect to you where you benefit and you're supposed to give light to a lot of people. And so because of that, um, you know, you're going to encounter this attitude very frequently because the more you're in the public eye, the more it happens. So you are learning through this and you will have to have it even more ramped up. And so the reason why you're going through this hate and stuff is because you need to figure this out early before you're in that public space. Um, and so you are going through like an education you are going through, this is like school for you. Like, okay, well, if you want to manifest to like these higher realms, you need to master this first. And by higher realms, I do mean abundance. I mean financial success because that does want to come in. It's just being blocked right now because again, you're not really ready for the blessing at this moment. Like you, I think you take personal, you, you take to heart what the nasty things people say about you. Like you would be like, well... Um, I mean, maybe I was a little bit rude when I spoke to that person when really, you know, deep down, you didn't say anything to them. They just didn't like you before you even said a word. You know what I mean? You just walked in and were like, hi, and they were already giving you a little weird look. So you know full well that you don't need to take these people seriously, but you kind of let it get to your heart. You are sensitive. You are a bright light, but you're also sensitive. And it's not that you need to lose touch of that sensitivity because that's a beautiful thing and a gift and a connection to spirit, but learn to apply it selectively. You don't need to take the opinions in of everyone and certainly not of haters. Like haters just block them out. They don't their energy is toxic. Don't let it in. You know what I mean? If one of your best friends comes to you and is like, you know, I'm kind of worried because lately you've been doing this and you know, I wonder like, are you good? Like that's maybe something you can, you know, consider maybe. But if someone is coming to you with hate in their heart, nasty intentions, uh, jealousy and envy, why on earth would you listen to them? It's like, you know, it's someone who has your worst interest at heart. 
It's like if your worst enemy walked in and was like, hey, I saw there was an issue with your car engine. Do you want me to go try to fix it? And they've got like a hammer, you know, in their one hand, like a sledgehammer, and they've got a knife, and they've got like a saw. You wouldn't be like, sure, let me pop the trunk. Yeah, what do you need to do? You'd be like, get the hell away from my car, dude. I know what you're up to. And so that's what you need to have. That's the energy you need to have for the, these people is like, I'm not gonna let you tinker around in my head and in my heart and let you bring me down because they don't have good intentions. They're not trying to help you improve. They're not trying to move you along in your journey in a positive way. They're trying to bring you down because they're terrified of you reaching success. But this success is part of your birthright. You are a bright energy and you're bringing positivity to this world. So you are supposed to have success as a result of that. And it's like you can really be, you're a really good manifester too, but you haven't leaned into your power yet. And you're not going to be able to fully manifest and move into these things until you can master this. Because it would really be bad for you if you got all these blessings right now. Because again, you keep listening to these negative people and you keep being like oh well uh, maybe I should do this maybe I should change that if you got all the money and all the stuff that you know you're supposed to get right now you'd probably give some away to them you'd probably as soon as they said I don't really like what you're doing you'd switch you'd totally ruin everything you know you hear stories about like some really talented you know, musician or something. And someone came into their life, like a manager or a record executive or someone and told them like, you got to change this, this, and this. You're doing everything wrong, blah, blah, blah. And they change everything and suddenly their life goes to hell basically. Like everything gets ruined. Their songs stop being successful. They were on this trajectory for success. And now it's totally derailed because they listened to the wrong person. So it's like, that would be what would happen if you got success at this moment, because you have negative, jealous people around you. And it might not even be, if there's someone specific in your life you're thinking of, it's definitely them. And for those of you who um, aren't thinking of one person in particular, it's like a general thing. Like it might be something where you go into the convenience store and you know, the lady who's get, selling you like your Mountain Dew is just randomly really rude to you. And instead of you brushing it off and being like, whatever, um, you take it to heart. And that's something you have to learn is to just brush off the negative energy. You might benefit from wearing protective stones like obsidian or black tourmaline because you know you do need to have a little bit of protection and the crystals really help with that. Um, especially if you guys are empaths, which you very well might be um, given this energy, like that would help a lot so that you don't even feel it or you feel, you feel it like a tiny bit, but it's like a fraction of how it really was. Um, so it's like you're you're in this learning stage and all this these people coming against you, it's for a reason right now. Um, it's because they see your potential and they're jealous of it and it's because in the moment when you're actually getting your stuff, you're getting your abundance and stuff, you're gonna be really glad that you, you know this lesson. So that when the negative people come and they're like, well, I don't think you deserve that money or whatever it is, you're gonna be like, okay, I don't care. <laughs> doesn't matter to me baby and that's how you should be because really once you have the money that's when like you can really lend yourself in trouble once you have the blessing is when you're really in a vulnerable place and again I just keep thinking of all these stories of like you know celebrities and stuff that had like Selena she had her like best friend was that lady who killed her and she kind of had a bad feeling about the chick and she was like, I don't know, should I fire her? But she didn't want to. And you know, obviously the, that was the worst case scenario. It's such a horrible, sad story. But it's like someone can really bring you down if they don't have your good intentions. And so it's so important to master early on before you lend, get to the success part, master the art of discernment and to be able to tell someone's intentions and then act accordingly with, am I going to listen to this? Am I going to take it into my heart or am I going to just discard it? Um, that's just such an important lesson for us all to learn. And I feel like that's something you need to master because you do have a lot of abundance coming in. You guys are good manifestors because you have these spiritual gifts and stuff. So you are good at manifesting. You are going to be able to turn 
you know, this spiritual energy you have flowing through you into spirit, like physical, material reality and abundance. Um, but you need to get to the place where spirit's like, okay, it's time for me to be able to give this person these gifts. Cause it's kind of like if you gave someone a priceless vase and that person was really irresponsible and they were going to break it, you know, like, why would you want to do that? You're going to wait until that person's matured. Like if you're not going to give like a six year old, even if it was like your niece or something, you're not going to give them like a fragile porcelain antique from like France in the 1800s. You're going to wait until your niece is like at least 15 years old and will know like, okay, it's not, I'm not going to play, you know, NASCAR cars with my base. I'm not going to throw all my Barbies in it and use it, fill it up with water and use it as like the Barbie swimming pool. I'm going to treasure this face. I'm going to tr treat it really carefully and put it up on a pedestal. Um, and right now it's like you give too much of your energy away to people who don't have your best intentions at heart. So spirit can't trust you with the really big abundance and stuff. Um, but we got bridge. So it's like, this is a moment for you to learn. Um, I know it's hard when you have so much negativity coming for you um, and when it feels like people are really coming against you. But again, know that it's a part of the lesson. Unfortunately, there's a lot of negative low vibration people floating around this planet. Um, and there's no point in which you're ever going to be rid of them. You see major, very successful celebrities who still have people that are like, oh, I just hate, I mean, more so like, you know, the more success you get, the more of the jealous people. And sometimes, again, sometimes it's granted to dislike a celebrity. There's plenty of really obnoxious or low vibration, nasty, evil celebrities who are like using their power for evil or bullies or whatever. But then there's people that are like minding their business, really sweet, really nice, and just get hated on for no reason. And it's jealousy. And so the point is, is that you have to learn to discern that and to be able to tell the difference and tell when someone just doesn't like you just has it out for you just because just because you're bringing a bunch of light in and they feel insecure as a result so that's a major lesson because I do feel like you guys have abundance that wants to come in you guys have blessings that want to manifest and we also got unicorn so I feel like you guys are like a unicorn you guys are so special and I think you don't realize that you guys might be physically attractive um, and it's like I don't think you realize the the impression you make when you kind of enter a room you're just kind of like why are people looking at me or hmm why did that you know store owner kind of why was why were they staring at me the whole time when I was shopping or why um you know why did that person kind of go out of my their way either to be really nice to me or be really rude to me it's all two sides of the same coin it's all because you make this incredible impression and you have this unique beautiful like star energy about you and people can tell and they're either intimidated or drawn to it but you create like an energetic impression like a cannonball <laughs> I was gonna say you make a ripple in the energetic field but then I I was like a cannonball is a better example you're not a ripple you're like that whole cannonball someone blasting in like whoa and so everyone can feel the beautiful like energy you bring in that's almost like a disturbance like it's like it really shifts things and that's a really positive thing um and you need to be aware of like the level of power you have and the level of you know beautiful things that you're bringing into the equation let me get some astro dice so we got saturn we got gemini and we got the ninth house so saturn is definitely applying here because again i feel like you guys have people coming against you you've had these negative experiences and really a lot of that is saturn saturn is all about the hard lessons i always compare saturn to the hardest teacher in school and i just feel like it's like at the end of dealing with the hardest teacher in school you know you're gonna ace your tests you're gonna do so well on all the standardized tests you're gonna probably have like the next two years of school are gonna be so much easier because you learned everything you need to learn from this teacher because they worked you so hard but in the moment when you're going through it it's really tricky and it's really difficult and it's hard to keep your chin up um so but the thing about Saturn is it brings really hard lessons and great rewards. And I see it in the charts of a lot of people who reach great success. They have like this really hard Saturn constantly hammering them. And they'll almost
almost you'll you'll see that as a pattern in their life where like they get they get one it's almost like two steps forward or one step forward two steps back where like they have this big success and it happens at the same time as like this crisis you know um and it, that will be a pattern you'll see where you're like this doesn't even make sense why does why do all these weird bad things keep happening to this person and they're not doing anything bad um and they're only doing good things, but it just seems like this negative energy keeps coming around them. That's Saturn, but it brings success. And so it's just like, you just got to take it. And even when you're going through these hard times, take it as a compliment from the universe that like you've been anointed with this mantle of success and you got to go through the lessons and you got to go through the testing. Just like, you know, it's like if you get into Harvard, there's like that moment of celebration and like, woohoo, I got picked. And then it's a hard lesson it's the studying all night it's the staying late at the library it's the tearing your hair out because you're like oh, I am so like oh my god my classmates are so smart and this is so hard and there's this insecurity that can seep in but just persevering and keeping going is half the battle with Saturn and it's like powerful signal to Saturn that like I am worthy of this I am worthy of the blessing Saturn likes to give you the blessing but it likes to test you first and be like are you sure are you sure you want it? And it's like, you know, I love that song by Cardi B, Get Up 10. Um, it's definitely that energy where, you know, you're going to be knocked down nine times, but the 10th time is when you don't get knocked down or, and that, or, and that's when you succeed. You get up 10 times and that's what they wanted to know. Are you, are you, do you really want it? Are you really ready for the blessings or not? Then we got ninth. Oh, wait. That's sixth house, okay. So sixth house is ruled by Cancer, and then we got Gemini. Oh, oh my God, sorry, it's not ruled by Cancer, it's ruled by Virgo, and then Gemini, which is both um, have their rulers as a Mercury. So Mercury is the planet of communication, it's the planet of, um, you know, techn technology, kind of like mental, mental thoughts and all kinds of words and stuff like that. So again, I feel like you guys might have some kind of, like I feel like your presence and you talking to people and your energy is a blessing and people learn from you and people are kind of fascinated by you. Um, and you should just know that about yourself, you know? Um, and tr start treating yourself like a blessing. Like I love this, the line in ASAP Rocky's song, Peso, and he says, um, just to kick it is a blessing. And he's talking about other people kicking it with like ASAP Mob, where it's like, we have so much going on and we have such good energy in ASAP Mob, according to him, um, that just being around us is a blessing. And I think that's such a powerful energy to lean into of like, just being around me in my energy, in my presence, is a blessing to you. I don't even need to do anything. Just me being around you, just me being here will bless you. And I think that that's really true for you guys. You guys have this beautiful positivity around you and you need to know that. And we got blossoming abundance. Like that's what wants to come in is money, 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 money. And so that's really great. You know, um, I was hoping someone would get like the money pile of, um, of the super abundance and I feel like that's you guys oh my gosh door to personal healing and happiness ah I love that for you wow I love that card it's like my favorite card of all time um and I just feel like yeah you guys you're being tested you are being but you're also being looked over like I feel like you guys are going to grow from this you guys are very positive um in your core and so it's like you are not going to be brought down by this we also got goddess of the moon i also feel like again you guys have like a goddess energy about you you guys are so powerful we got the magician again wow okay so hello master manifester like exactly and the temple path so again this is like a divinely watched over journey for you guys um this is not an accident and i know it can suck when you're going through the testing and you can feel like you've been abandoned by your spirit guides like i have gotten mad at my spirit guides and ranted on them and been like you guys are the worst spirit guides ever <laughs> like multiple times i have been like really mouthy with my spirit guides um or like what kind of spirit guides do this you guys are sick um but 
you know, it is part of the blessing is going through those hardships and that's when the blessing comes in. I'm not smart enough to understand why we have to go through all this Saturn stuff to bring blessings in, but I am smart enough to read all the astrology charts and see that as a pattern. So it's just how it happens. Again, I don't know the why. I just know it. it's a pattern in so many successful people. So you know, this hardship that you're going through is preparing you for your greater path destiny. Again, some of you guys might be prepared to be public figures. There's wealth coming in for sure, for sure. That's the major theme of this, the major theme of this, but you guys are going to have abundance um, and financial abundance specifically. But uh, some of you are also being prepared to have a career somehow in the public eye or helping others. Again, it could also just be like, everyone in your hometown knows you. And you know, as soon as you walk into the restaurant, everyone's like, oh, hey, Bill, or something. But there's some kind of public, public aspect to this. You know what I mean? Where you're touching people's lives, you're sharing your energy with people and they're benefiting as a result. And you're gonna get powerful karma from that. It's actually a very powerful life path, destiny, purpose you have. So um, this is all supposed to happen because again, you're supposed to be, you know, whenever someone has a powerful destiny, they got to get tested. It's like, again, if someone is going to be the most, like if someone is going to have a really important job, like a doctor, where it's like everything hinges on a moment of their hand having to twist the scalpel in the exact right direction they don't get to just show up one day and be like you know what i think i want to be a doctor i think i want to be a surgeon they have to go through tests and school and learning and it's hard but that's what happens when you want one of these really upper level jobs um, and so it's like because you guys have this really strong destiny in front of you, you have to go through the trials and the hardship. Again, I don't know why because I wish all the sweet people didn't have to go through anything bad. If I could have my way, it would, you know, me as a Pisces, I'd be like, every sunshine and rainbows for everyone. But it's just not how it works. We came to this world to learn. And you guys, since you have more of a spiritual mission that's very important, you need to go through this testing. And so they just want you to keep your chin up, maybe do a little self care, make sure you're like exercising and eating healthily and, you know, and also going easy on yourself. Maybe have a night in with a sheet mask, watching your favorite TV show, you know what I mean? But be kind to yourself and really kind because sometimes people can take self-care to mean like, I'm going to stay in and kill a whole bottle of wine by myself and, you know, like cry as I watch like a really sad movie. And sure, once in a while, that's okay. But we want to make sure we're not doing things that could harm our body or long term lead to, you know, any kind of health issue, you know, like chain smoking cigarettes and pounding shots of whiskey. I mean, I guess that could be your self care. But probably long term, it's not the best self care plan. Um, so make sure you're doing things to honor yourself and treating yourself with the respect because I again, I feel like you guys have a big mission. So you need to keep everything high vibration, including your body and your emotions and everything because your hope, your light that you bring to this world is very powerful and has the potential to shift and drive out darkness. And all those people are A, divinely watched over and B, um, destined for some level of abundance. Um, and also know that because you have this important karma, I've noticed this as another pattern. People who have this kind of Mm, destiny karmic situation you've got going on they always are karmically protected and I've always noticed this that someone will mess with them and it's like six months later boom completely that person has the biggest karma slap in the face ever or even a day later or whenever but there's always this like everyone has karma and it's a law that you know ex exists for everyone but it's kind of like there's, you're probably going to get treated differently if you like, you know, were to rob a random person. I mean, it maybe shouldn't be this way, but this is probably how it is. If you were to rob like a random person or you were to rob, you know, the chief of police or something, you know, the chief of police is going to slap you with like eight other charges and you're going to get in big trouble uh, or like a celebrity, like Lady Gaga's dogs got stolen and it was like a top story 
unlike all the newspapers, people's dogs get stolen all the time and no one really cares. But if you did it to a huge celebrity, suddenly it's like red alert. And that's kind of like you, like you have a team being like, oh, hell no, you are not going to mess with this person. So if you guys are getting or feeling down in the dumps about like, how could that person be so cruel, so cold to me? Know that truly for you, you have karmic protection around you so strong, um, so strong. So you don't need to worry. Don't, don't even take it on. Don't even worry about it. Let God handle it because God can be really harsh when someone's messing with one of his chosen kind of anointed people to bring in the light. So you don't need to stress about it. Know that it's being handled like Olivia Pope style is handled and just relax because they have so much abundance and you're just on this sacred path um, and it's just kind of twist, twisting and turning and getting there but all these things are preparing you for this beautiful abundance and financial wealth that is coming in for you and possibly a public platform. So I really hope that helped you guys. I'm excited for your life mission. This is just such a beautiful, happy reading. I'm so happy to end it with that. It definitely puts me in a good mood. Um, it's just really beautiful. So if it resonated, please let me know if it in the comments and make sure to subscribe because I post every few days. So if you want to see more videos, make sure you are subbed. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next reading. Sending you so much love and light. So I will see you next time. Bye.